In football, we all know who gets the glory for those long yard receptions, those 10 yard carries for first down, and those Hail Mary spirals right into the end zone. But none of those things would be possible if it weren't for these unsung heroes. I'm talking about the O-line. To be a good offensive lineman, you gotta be mean, you gotta be nasty, and you gotta sell out every single play. We always have to be a unit as one and, and have to do things on, you know, instinctual level. Any defensive switches, I gotta know what's, what would happen in my head before the play even starts. Oh, uh, you gotta be a little nasty, a little mean. Uh, you gotta get after it a little bit and uh, gotta work hard and uh, play through the whistle. You know, you have to have that kill, you know, killer mentality, you know, always um, having your brothers back. The biggest thing I believe in this, basically any position in, in football is, is your heart and it's extremely hard to measure. There have been a lot of mi misses uh, off of combine times and, and how athletic a player is and off highlight tapes and it's really important in our position and at the offensive line. You have to think of others because you really, you really don't get your name called unless you do something wrong. It takes a lot of uh, humility. You know, you won't, you won't usually see us in the newspaper or anything, but, you know, it's a great feeling seeing, you know, your, your other teammates scoring uh, and you were a part of helping them. Every time a running back gets in the paper, that means I'm doing my job right. So I, every time he scores or gets in the paper, I'm like, yeah, hey, I did what I'm supposed to do. So that's rewarding enough to me. Coach Ratliff, he's, he's a fun coach. He's high intensity. Coach Ratliff is a very high intensity, you know, go get it coach. He's gotten me better since day one. It, I wouldn't choose another coach to play for. Oh, he's great. I, I love playing for him. I love Coach Rat. He brings a lot of energy. He's actually one of the reasons why I came here. He's a great person. I've never met anyone like him in my entire life. I, I love him to death. You know, I'd hope to think that that would be, you know, they, 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 they see that hopefully that I want to make them the best, you know, person, number one, and best player, number two, that they possibly can be. What they've shown me thus far is, is you know, what, how big a heart they have. And, and being able to come out and practice each and every day and uh, withstand the, the, the grueling aches and pains of camp and, and continue to stay focused and continue to put up with me being on them and you know just being really pleased with their attitude. The winter circle. We call it the winter circle. The winter circle? The winter circle? Winter circle. Oh, winter circle, oh yeah. It's one on one. Man against man, it gets us ready to, to, to tee off on somebody, to get on that defensive lineman and, and not give up. Send two guys in and hit a little bit and just get fired up for the game. We actually started before our scrimmages to kind of get us hopped up a little bit. Winter circle definitely comes in handy. It's just, I know, it's just like a mindset I have. When I'm down in my stance, when I'm waiting for the quarterback to, to say, set, go, I'm just like, I'm just fixed in my mind. It's just like everything in my body just chills down. And as soon as I hear that snap, I'm firing off the ball all low, I'm driving hard, I'm just getting after it to the whistle blow. And a little bit after that. <laughs> Without an offensive line, you have nothing. We dictate the flow of the game. If we have a bad game, then the game's not gonna be successful for anybody. That's both sides of the ball. Any good football team's gotta have a strong offensive line. They have to lead by example. You know, the name's not gonna be in the paper as much as it is a skilled player. And, you know, we got to be, we got to be that rock. 